This mechanical comprehension practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, what is the amount of force needed to keep the barrel from moving? So what we're looking at is a simple machine called an inclined plane. An inclined plane is supposed to make performing work much easier. Let's say this 150 pound weight was sitting on the ground and we wanted to pick it up. Well, it would take 150 pounds of force to pick this 150 pound weight off the ground. That said, this inclined plane gives us what's called a mechanical advantage that makes moving this weight much easier. And how do we calculate the mechanical advantage that we get by using an inclined plane or a ramp? Well, it's simply the length of the ramp, and we can see the length of this ramp is nine, divided by the height of the ramp. The height of this ramp is right here, it's three. Nine divided by three is three. So this inclined plane or this ramp gives us a mechanical advantage of three. What does that mean? That means it's three times easier to move this 150 pound weight than picking it straight up off the ground. So again, all we're gonna do is take 150 and multiply it by one third, because again, it's three times easier to move this weight using an inclined plane or ramp. And if you can't do this mentally, place uh, 150 over one to write it as a fraction. 150 divided by one is 150. And of course you can cross reduce, three goes into three one time. Three goes into 15 five times, therefore three goes into 150 50 times. This is 50 over one times one over one, which is just one. 50 times one is 50. So in other words, it only takes 50 pounds of force to keep this uh, barrel from moving. And that's because this inclined plane, which is a simple machine, gives us a mechanical advantage of three.